Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to be doing my very first collab video with Christina from um, my, my Journey to Neverending Joy. You should check out her channel. She does a lot of stuff that's similar to mine. Cleaning, organizing, mom stuff, hauls. Um, I think you'd really enjoy her stuff. So I'm going to be cleaning out my refrigerator. She's going to be doing the same thing and we're going to film it and show you step by step what we do. As soon as I answer my phone. <laughs> Alright, so here is my refrigerator. It's a Samsung French door with a freezer drawer on the bottom. And this is a perfect time. Let's see if I can get the right angle for you. This is a perfect time to clean it because it is pretty empty right now. As you can see, this is actually empty. Almost. So I got lots of stuff in well, not that much stuff. I got some stuff in here. But the shelves really need to be cleaned and need to get rid of some old stuff in here that is just past its prime. I'll show you my freezer, but I'm not going to clean it out today because this is a whole other problem in itself. Uh, it's pretty stuffed in here. I mean, it's relatively clean because I did clean it out somewhat recently, but as you can see, I am just overloaded with food. Packed to the gills, so I'm not even going to touch this one. But the refrigerator is definitely in need of a good cleaning, so we will focus on that. For me, the easiest thing to do when cleaning out the fridge is instead of emptying everything out at once, because with small kids there are frequent interruptions, so I do one shelf at a time. For the task of actually cleaning and disinfecting the shelves, I'm going to use my Lysol wipes. You can use any cleaner of your choice. For me, this is just my go-to, and it's nice and convenient too. Okay, this shelf is empty, but as you can see, there are some streaks on the glass and it does need just a good wipe down. With my wipe, I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna wipe down all the shelves. It's very important that you don't forget the backs and the sides and the underside of other shelves. Now, most shelves will actually come out of the refrigerator. If you find that you need a really good cleaning, you can actually take the whole thing out. I'm not gonna do it, but you can take the whole thing out and put it right in the sink. But this isn't that dirty, so it's just not necessary. Now that the shelf is clean, I'm just going to give it a quick dry off so I don't have any streaks or any water marks. Especially because when it's cold, it doesn't seem to dry as well. I do not like streaks on glass. As I put things back, I'm going to wipe the bottom because that usually accumulates whatever was stuck on the shelf. It should have started on top, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So I have to empty all this stuff out and wipe the shelves down. You don't realize how much stuff you have in the refrigerator until it's time to empty it out. Seriously. This is pretty funky, so I'll be happy to clean that.
This isn't that bad, because I actually wiped this shelf down yesterday, I think, but I'm gonna do a good cleaning right now. Because there's a lot of crumbs and odds and ends in there and I feel like using soap and water with a, sp uh, with a sponge will do the best job of cleaning it. Alright, now I'll just dry it off real good and do the same thing with the next drawer. Also very important, you want to make sure you get the spot where the drawer was, make sure that's nice and clean. that I'm really struggling with that I have not been able to figure out. If you know the answer to this, please tell me, I'd love to know. So you see how in the drawer there, there's some kind of liquid stuck? That has been stuck there forever and I can't figure out how to get it out because that's like a double layer. It's where the drawer and the front of it connect and it's in between there. And I cannot figure out for the life of me how to take this piece off of this piece to get to it. I've looked online, I, I've looked through manuals, I'm starting to think that maybe it doesn't come apart, although this little piece right here, it kind of moves a little bit, so I have no idea. But I would love to be able to get to that if anybody can enlighten me, please. So everything else except for that spot is clean. So as you can see, I'm wiping it and it's not coming off because it is in between layers. So this is as clean as I can get it right now. All right, so that drawer is clean and put back and I'm gonna just put the uh, carrots back in there and move on to the lower drawer which I'm not even sure I gotta play with this and see I think this comes out but the first thing I gotta empty it out as you can see there's all kinds of cheese bits and crumbs and as usual dog hair so I gotta deal with this Let's see if I can get this out. oh this actually comes out very easily too so I'm just gonna I'm gonna get most of this. I'm gonna wipe all this stuff off, get the crumbs in the garbage, and then I'm gonna wipe it down with a, a, wipe, a, a disinfectant wipe. I pulled out that bottom drawer, and this is the mess in there. So I definitely need to clean this up and get rid of those because I'm afraid of how old those things actually are. Before I move on to the doors, I just want to show you how nice and clean that is. Look at that glass, how clean that is. So much better. So much better. Alright, now for the doors. The doors are always going to be a mess, especially around like the condiments because there's always going to be something on the lid or your fingers are going to be dirty. Things get bumped around. And somehow we get this, where we keep the milk. On the shelves. That's disgusting. This side is all condiments, but still needs a good wipe down. So I'm gonna start taking these shelves out and cleaning them one by one. Mommy. Now that I have all the shelves off the door, I'm gonna clean the door itself. Just gonna spray some peroxide in here and wipe it down. Something that people usually forget on refrigerators is the seal. You have to make sure you clean and disinfect the seal all around it, inside the outside, in the cracks, because you can get all kinds of yucky stuff in there that you do not want anywhere near your refrigerator. And again, wipe the bottom off of the container so they don't make things dirty again after you just clean them. 
not easy with the kids. I've already had to stop at least five different times. Uh, carry on. This is the side that I keep my condiments on and where the ice dispenser is. And yeah, so I don't think I've actually taken the side apart yet. So we'll see if this is the same. Is it? Oh yeah, look at that. Comes right up. Uh, while I have the top tray off, I decided to spray everything down, especially around the water dispenser. I sprayed it with peroxide, so because it's non-toxic. If you didn't hear my other video, peroxide it leaves no residue. It breaks down and leaves water and oxygen, and that's it. So it's harmless, but it is very effective at sanitizing. Um, this tray, I haven't quite figured out how to get out, so and it really does need to be cleaned. So I just kind of sprayed it down with peroxide. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute to loosen everything up and then I'm just gonna wipe it out the best I can. Then the lower tray, just come, it looks like, ooh, does it come out? It looks like it probably comes out too, but if it doesn't, then I'll just do the same thing. door itself where it attaches. And in this side too, in here and on the other side, gotta clean those. So everything's back and clean and organized. So the inside of the refrigerator looks good as new, nice and shiny and sparkly, no gross anything anywhere, it's properly disinfected, no odor, especially when you have a thing of bacon soda like this. I actually have to replace this, but I'll leave that there for now. And then this, and down there, and the next thing I'm going to do is work on the outside of the refrigerator. Nothing crazy, but I just want to do a quick cleanup, especially of the water dispenser. First, I'm going to drain the tray since water always builds up in there. I'm just going to use a paper towel to soak it up. Then I'm going to use the peroxide and give this a quick spritz. Make sure it's nice and disinfected and just wipe it up. Without spilling water all over myself. I probably should have locked it first. Oh well. Alright, now as far as the rest of it, I don't have stainless steel cleaner that I use. I just kind of use Windex and then to give it an extra shine, sometimes I'll use a little bit of Pledge wood polish around there. But other than that, I don't really do much. So I'll just do that now and then, and then I'll be done with the refrigerator. Don't forget to do the sides and the inside part of the door. I don't know if you can see how dirty that is, but yeah, make sure you do that also on both doors. This is gonna get pretty nasty. Also make sure you do the lip of the freezer door up here. Now I'm just going to use some pledge and a microfiber cloth and that should finish it up nicely. Um, I'm not going to go crazy trying to make it perfect because I have kids and I know that this isn't going to last very long, but at least it'll be clean for a few minutes, clean and sparkly for a few minutes. Alright guys, that's it for my refrigerator cleaning tutorial, or clean with me. Um, don't forget to, that we're, this is a collaboration. 
make sure you check out my journey to never ending joy. She's gonna be doing the same one, so we'll see how what refrigerator she has and how she does the cleaning. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.